everyone, this is Val. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another season of Zepetto Class. I'll be a lot busier this time, so I unfortunately can only make four videos, but expect one to come out each week for the next four weeks. So this course is designed for experienced editors on Zepetto who want to elevate their edits. Let's assume you have your own editing style already, but want to do more, like make the move. I had this urge and learned how to do it on an app called Videostar by watching a few instructional videos. I didn't want to gatekeep my knowledge, so here it is for all of you. These videos are for my four mentees, but anyone is welcome to join. So let's understand the basics of Videostar first, which is going to be our main animating app. Throughout the course, I'll teach you how to use keyframes, which will be the groundwork for more complicated um, use of it like tweening, which is a fancy, funny word for repetitive movements to make the edit scene more lifelike. You've probably seen this type of animation in promotional posters for games like League of Legends or Genshin Impact. Um, I'll also teach you how to use effects to make parts of the edit move, such as hair and clothes. You can also use video layers to add everything together as well. This means an edit can have tweening, flowing hair and clothes, and keyframes of objects going in separate directions all at the same time. First, we have to have an edit ready, which I do right here. It's a still edit. This is for a week one task. There is actually a really easy way to do this, which would be to download the object we want to move, like the GIF box, as a transparent image, make it an overlay on CapCut, then move the keyframes there, like you see me doing here. This might work sometimes, but definitely not for more complicated stages of the animating process, like animating hair or clothes. If you want to get familiar with Video Star, and if you want to start getting comfortable with using it, we're gonna do it on Video Star. It's better to figure things out now than later. So first you have to add the edit onto an app such as CapCut to add background music without the gift box. Um, so everything else is downloaded except for the gift box, which will be kept as a transparent image separately. And then um, you should aim for a 10 second video maximum. Video Star only allows you to upload videos on there, so um, just kill two birds with one stone and add the music so you don't have to worry about it later. Once you've done that, go to Video Star. It seems kind of complicated at first, but as soon as you get the hang of it, it kind of becomes muscle memory. When you're in the app, press Edit New Video, then select the video you just made from CapCut. After that, press Multi Layer. As soon as you're in Multi Layer, there are two main rules of thumb. Number one, Never, ever, ever exit multi-layer. Never. You would lose all your progress, and I felt this pain for. The second rule of thumb, never zoom in on this front page. It is a pain to reposition everything because there's no auto lock functions. If you have already added keyframes or selections to everything, then good luck. Good luck repositioning everything back. Speaking of video layers, in Video Star, the layers are arranged downwards, unlike Ibis Paint or Procreate, which you must get used to. That means layer one is the bottommost layer, even though it's positioned at the top. You should also get into the habit of not switching things around too much. Let's say you copy layer 2 with freshly added keyframes and copy it to layer 3. You'll lose all of your keyframes that you made from layer 2, even if the selected area is retained. Since I'm making the GIF box as my layer 2 with a transparent background, there won't be too many problems. Just get familiar with the idea of adding that. And then, um, once you're done with the transparent image, we have to add keyframes. So, when you click onto layer 2, press add keyframes where you'll be able to manipulate where the gift box will be at at what time of the video. The first keyframe is going to be laid out for you at the very beginning, like 000. The arrows on the top left are buttons to move the gift box a little bit, but you don't need to use them. We'll start out with a slow video with small keyframes. If you're an experienced video editor, you'll know about keyframes. Let's start by moving the video 5 seconds forward and adding a new keyframe. To do this, at the 5 second mark, you have to move the gift box up. You'll see two dots to signify the different places the gift box will be at 0 seconds and at 5 seconds. 
So just scrub the little circle to the right uh, at five seconds, and then position the gift box where you want it at that time. Then, at 10 seconds, move the gift box back down. Move the video five seconds forwards again, then reposition the gift box downward. Don't worry about getting it too straight. Once that's done, you're finished with your first edit. Congratulations! You can go back to CapCut to add some of the video effects or any other video editing app of your choice. Additionally, if you have any lighting that you would like to add that might overlap with the moving object, you should download it as a separate transparent layer and use that as an overlay on CapCut. I did this in my Corpse Ride edit and I tried it again for this edit. That way the animation won't compromise the atmosphere of the edit. Now that we know the easiest form of movement in a photo edit, next time we'll look at how to move hair and clothes. Ask any questions in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching, see you all next week, bye!